Okay, so I have Erica with us from L Crew. Hi, Erica. Hi, Karine. Lovely to have you. So the reason why we're doing this um, this month, this vlog, is to give crew a bit of an idea of what it's like to start a business and some insight into entrepreneurs in the industry and how they launched or kickstarted their career. So um, a bit of background about yourself. You were in the industry for about two years. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then you yep. were a yacht management company and you were a manager overseeing work in two of their companies and realized that crew placement was a passion of yours and that you love building relationships with people. And that is very evident from my side. If I were to tell you the truth of why I hunted you down and asked for you to be join us with this interview is because a friend of mine, she was getting into yachting this year and she had a couple of bad experiences, so decided to leave yachting. And she, I was interested in how crew recruitment companies were engaging with crew. And she sent mm -hmm. me um, a couple of recruitment companies and the emails that were going back and forth between herself and the recruitment company. And you were one of them. And I was just blown away by your communication style and how you treat each person like an individual. And yeah. it, it, I can see that you're very respectful to other people's needs. And I know that you want the best for people. And that really comes through. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. You don't see that very often. So that's why I'm so happy that you're here. And I would love to hear your story, and how you could advise crew with their startups or if they're looking mm. for a career. Hmm. I think it's, I mean, as you've noted with my approach, I always, um, you know, I do answer every email. I take the time out of my day just to give people, even if it's a really quick um, response, I just think it's important to acknowledge the fact that it's, if you're on the other end of those emails, it's just, it can be really disheartening when you're sending job applications all day, every day, and you either get no response at all, or you might get an automatic response. Um, and a lot of the emails I get are quite personal and, you know, people get really downhearted about it all, as I say, and I'm not getting any feedback. What am I doing wrong? Am I in the wrong place? Is it me? Is it my CV? Is my experience not good enough? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it just takes a couple of minutes for me to say, it's really not you. It's this industry. It's pretty cutthroat. Mm -hmm. Um, just to give them a little bit of a oomph and to give them a bit more motivation. Mm -hmm. Um, which is what I've pretty much built my whole business on is, is making it personal. And that's why it is just me. It's boutique. It's, um, you know, it's always going to be just me um, so that I can give people my time. Yes. And I think that's quite admirable of you. Like you're not, it's not like you want to um, take over all the recruitment companies and get as many um, clients on board as possible and do a really Absolutely not. <laughs> you're all about quality over quantity and I love that because that's something that we believe too it's not about wiping out your competitor it's it's focusing on yourself as an entrepreneur and what you can provide in terms of service absolutely I think everybody needs to focus if you're setting up a new business regardless of sector you need to focus on what your strengths are and you know and also focus on what your weaknesses are and make sure you cover those and don't just sort of squirrel them away and hide them away and, and paper over the cracks. I mean, if you find there's something, an area that you're not that good at, then, then hire someone who can help you, who's better than you are. And, you know, don't be intimidated by someone else having a better knowledge in a, in a particular field than you. I mean, for me, I know that with the yachts I deal with, they're usually on the slightly smaller end of the scale. Um, you know, it's rare that I will get like a hundred meter mega yacht contacting me for crew because they tend to go, via their own in-house management crew agencies. Mm. Um, so I will always, if I get somebody in with lots of commercial experience who's suited to those sorts of roles, I'll point them in the right direction of a few agencies that I know have a good reputation mm. um, to say, look, these guys can better help you than I can. Yeah. But, you know, if you're in Parma, give us a shout and so on and so forth. Yeah, so. No, that's great. Um, so as you would know, starting a business can be quite a roller coaster. Um, you have your ups and your downs. And how would you get through the difficult times or the challenging times? I think you've always got to focus on what made you, you know, get up off your backside to set up originally. Mm -hmm. Because that's the hardest part, I think, is having, you know, being brave enough to say, right, I'm going to quit my job or, you know, I'm going to invest all my savings into a business idea. 
Um, and I think you've always got to, you mustn't lose focus of what drove you to do that in the first place and try and harness that motivation. I mean, for me, um, I also believe that if you love what you do, mm. you never work a day in your life. I mean, that's, yeah, it's a bit of a lie, of course, sometimes when you sat here at eight o'clock at night, banging your head against the wall, <laughs> you know, perhaps you don't feel quite that it's not work, that it's all pleasure, but you've got to love what you do. Mm. Um, and you know, love the people that you work with, either if you're on your own or in a, in a big team, you've got to love yourself as well. Mm. Um, and also I would say to people, don't forget to take time out because if you, when you do have your own business, there is that always that element of fear that makes you just keep on working, keep on working, keep on working. Cause it's like, oh, where, where, where's the next paycheck going to come from? Or, you know, mm. where's my next client going to come from? But now and again, you have to stop and just take a step back and then you'll come back stronger and, and better. And also I would say it's important to find some peers, some people around you mm. who can help encourage, you can bounce ideas off and it doesn't even have to be in the same industry. You know, I can speak to people in completely different industries who have completely different jobs, but it's just, and then you get a fresh um, input and a fresh outlook on what you're doing rather than when you, you know, if it's, if everyone I spoke to was all yachting related, things would get a bit boring. Um, it's good to, you know, speak to other industries, hmm. but yeah, I think it's important to have a good network and, um, yeah, sometimes if, if the creative juices are not flowing, sometimes it's good just to pack up and say, you know what, I'm going for a walk or I'm going to the pub or I'm going to call my mum or whatever it is and just clear off for a bit and then come back later or tomorrow. Mm, and use your intuition. And I like that in terms of reaching out to, I guess they're called mentors as such um, in yep. various fields because say, for example, in recruitment, you not it's only it's not only crew placement, it's it's marketing, it's um, just like operational logistics that you need to look into. So there's, it's stunning. Yeah. It, it's just so diverse and varied. Like I have learned so much in seven months. Like I think I'm now like a web developer and a social media. It's, you just got to yeah. use yourself. And as you said, I think in your email, it's it's just nonstop learning. And a bit of a funny story, like I'm addicted to my podcast. And I just want to consume as much information as possible. So now I have learned, I was, my brother, I was meeting up my brother and he's like, what are you listening at? And it was, it was my podcast, but it's played, played at double the speed because I'm just like, <laughs> I just want to learn as, as fast yeah. as possible. I've been listening to them for so long. I slowly incrementally increase the speed and my brain has learned to absorb that information. But yeah, I love mm. you have to say. I love who you are. I love your brand. And I think you're doing an amazing Thank job. You. And people on my Instagram feed, yesterday we're commenting they go oh my god you're interviewing erica she's amazing she's such a lovely person so <laughs> about you all over the world <laughs> i feel famous i feel like a bit of a celeb great great <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it no problem and i'm always happy to feel questions from people you know in the industry if it's to do with starting up a business or um, you know, I always encourage crew to get in touch if they've got any doubts or worries about what's going on on their boat or with their job hunt or, you know, and I'll always try and give impartial advice. Nice. Thank you for that. Relative. Yeah, no worries. Okay, well, I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>